I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers with this tropical update as of Wednesday evening around 930 and we're focusing on what's happening with Hurricane Lee and yes, it is a hurricane earlier at around the five o'clock update on Wednesday afternoon. Lee was upgraded from a tropical storm to a hurricane and I'm zoomed in a little bit tighter here so you can see the system that's swirling out in the central Atlantic. We're beginning to see that uh, center of circulation, that eye beginning to develop a little bit more and we really think this storm is going to be strengthening very quickly. Now here it is in relation to where the islands are there near Guadalupe, where you see Puerto Rico, you see the Bahamas, and then you see the uh, continental United States and it's still really far away. Here is the latest track based on the 5 p.m. advisory on your Wednesday afternoon. You can see the system moving across the Atlantic, pretty much moving toward the north and west, but it continues getting stronger and stronger to a category two storm to a category three to a category four. Some of our models are also saying this at one point could actually become a category five hurricane. Now the last plot that you see here is on Monday afternoon, but we can look at our extended models in the spaghetti model plots and kind of see what we're looking for here. And that is expecting a curve, hopefully in time before it gets anywhere near the Bahamas or before it gets anywhere near the eastern coastline of the United States. Now, Bermuda needs to watch this very closely as well. And the entire eastern coastline also needs to watch this, even if it doesn't make a direct impact on the U.S. coast. A big part of the coast most likely is going to have some rough surf, but just because of the strength of the storm, even 100 miles away can still bring some rough surf moving in. Now, I know you're probably seeing a lot of stuff on social media and a lot of people are trying to scare you. A lot of people are sharing things just to get clicks and just to get likes. But I just want to tell you the way we're seeing it right now. There's no way to tell what's going to be happening with this system uh, beyond seven to 10 days. And even that could change. So there's a lot of time between now and next week where you're seeing these plots right here that could still change. We're going to be able to get a better handle on this system once it continues to develop, once we can get a reconnaissance mission in there to get some good data on it as well to help us again, kind of with the forecast track on it. But for now, these extended models are hinting at a curve away from the United States. But again, we can't totally bank on that because anything could happen. Now, there's another system we're watching off the coast of Africa uh, that has a medium to high chance of developing over the next two to seven days, 40% chance of developing over the next two days, and then a 70% chance of developing over the next seven days. The extended models with this pretty much keep it out into the ocean and into the Atlantic. Uh, we don't think that would have any impact on us right now. So those are the main systems that we are watching in the Atlantic basin right now. And uh, Lee is gonna be the one to watch because it is going to be getting stronger. It's tracking closer to us, but again, we're waiting for it to hopefully take that curve. And as we get more computer model data in, hopefully we can be a little more, you know, more forceful with that and more confident in that as that turn hopefully will move away from us. So here's a look at what we've had so far this year, beginning with Arlene that was a tropical storm. Now we have Lee that is a hurricane, but you can see we had we've had numerous tropical storms. Don was a hurricane, a category one. Franklin was a category four. Uh, Harold was a, a tropical storm. Idalia was a category four, but it moved inland, kind of weakening a little bit as a three. And now we have Lee as another hurricane. The next name on the list is Margo. Maybe that system coming off the coast of Africa uh, could get that name. And then you see the other names on the list. So September 10th is the statistical peak of hurricane season. This is the time of year when we start seeing a lot more action here, and it has been getting active over the past week or so, or even, even before that, and we'll have even more activity even past September 10th. That's just the time where it peaks and it's still pretty active through September and even into October some as well. So be sure to uh, keep it with us right here on 11 Alive on TV, 11alive.com as well, and all of our digital channels for more updates on the tropics and the ever strengthening Hurricane Lee.